Whenever I'm making a Squarespace domains video, I'm always on eggshells trying not to offend people because there's a whole hoo-ha about the Squarespace Google domains acquisition. Anyway, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just trying to help. So when people go to add a subdomain to their, um, well, to their domain on Squarespace, it's not actually immediately obvious where to do it. And then even when you're on the page, it's not again, immediately obvious where to even set the domain up. It's under something called add a rule instead of what it used to be, which was add a subdomain. So I'm gonna show you where it lives, how to set one up, how to route it to wherever you want it to go. And then hopefully you'll be able to go away and set up as many subdomains as you please. Here we're on my actual website and I'm gonna show you how I would set up a subdomain on my own site with my own domain. So what we need to do is go into settings and then head to domains. In there, we'll click on domains and then find, you know, if you've got multiple domains in here, just click on the one that you wanna set up the subdomain for. That's gonna bring us into here where you can see all of your domain information. What we then need to do, I mean, in my opinion, and I'm pretty sure it was this way, we would go into DNS, and then we'd add a subdomain. So add a rec where we've got add a record here, it would just allow us to add a subdomain. Now I'm, I'm pretty sure it used to be this way, but it seems to have changed. What we then need to do, or what we need to do instead, is go down into website here, and then domain forwarding. So you can see forward your domain or subdomains to another site. So we click add rule, and then here we can set up a subdomain. So I'll just call this test. And then if we want to add more, we can just add more and more down here. Um, if we did this, it would forward both of these to the same place. So add sub, uh, we've added our subdomain in here. And then we need to say, okay, it's going to forward to X. So I'll just do forward this to google.com. In here, we can do our advanced settings. So is this going to be a temporary or a permanent redirect? I will just keep the SSL on and then path forwarding, so you can read a little bit about this, whether you wanna maintain or remove it, I'm just gonna keep remove on. So just basically, for the, for the most part, we just wanna keep everything in the advanced settings as it is. Once we're happy, just hit save, and it's gonna take, I think it's usually up to, oh no, it's up to 24, uh, between 24 or 48 hours for the rule um, to be created, which means if we click on this, it's not quite there yet, but if we did this, it's going to take us to Google. So the SSL isn't secure just yet, but it should work pretty much straight away. So that is how you set it up. If you want to add another one, just add a rule and we'll just do test number two, forwards two, and we'll do, let's do Bing. Let's do the rivals. So hit save. There we go. And test two is now set up. We click on this and we'll carry on. So test two goes to bing.com, shout out Bing. So I'm gonna um, delete those. If I, you know, or if you don't want them, just hit delete, confirm, and it's done. If you need to edit, just click on the pen, and then you can edit in there. Or you can delete, and then you're good to go. So that's how you set up a subdomain on your Squarespace site. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.